Very quick video today, had a message from a subscriber who was struggling to update their maps when they were out in the field. Uh, obviously with the RC remote, you're not connected to your phone. So he was struggling with the maps. Now I have done a video on how to hook your RC remote to your phone's mobile hotspot and actually update the maps once you're there. What you may not be aware of though is that you can actually pre-load the maps in advance. You can cache the maps in advance of actually traveling out to the location you're going to be uh, flying in. So if you know where you're going to be going, especially if you're going to be in an area where there is no mobile phone signal, you can preload the maps in advance from the comfort of your own home. So very quick video on how to do that and also a quick reminder on how to hook your RC remote up to your phone's hotspot anyway, because um, by default, the RC remote always has Wi-Fi switched off. So you slide the uh, screen down from the top and you hit the little Wi-Fi uh, symbol there. If you've never connected the RC remote to your phone's hotspot before, you're gonna have to hit that little nut, the little uh, spanner button in the top right, and that will open up a new settings screen and you can see the Wi-Fi and networks option there. Tap that and it'll open up, it'll search for Wi-Fi networks and you can hook up to your phone's mobile hotspot. So in many cases, that's actually all you're gonna need to do. But what you can also do, as I said, is from the comfort of your own home, if you know you're actually gonna be flying in a particular location, tap the map so that the map becomes the large element of the screen. You can toggle between uh, camera view or map view just by tapping. Once you can see the map in its full glory, you can, you can scroll and drag the map. You can pinch to zoom the map out. You can uh, stretch it to zoom in. But crucially, you can actually drag it across the country to where you're going to be going. Now, I'm, I was going to be traveling down to uh, Somerset, uh, down to Glastonbury and the like, so I can scroll the map across and then I can zoom in and just let the map download and it'll automatically cache for you. And then you can see here I am at the top of Cheddar Gorge uh, firing up the drone and you can see even though Wi-Fi is not enabled and I haven't got my mobile phone hotspot enabled, all the map detail is there and the drone knows where it is and you've got all of the map detail still loaded up from when you preloaded it a couple of days beforehand from the comfort of your own home. So yeah, again, this is a little bit of functionality that if you didn't know it existed, you wouldn't know. No prompts, but now you do know. Obviously this will work for pretty much any drone that is making use of the RC remote. So whether it's the Mavic 3, Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro, uh, if you're using the RC remote, this functionality and caching will work. Anyway, as you can see, having a brilliant time down here at the Cheddar Gorge. I'm down at Glastonbury for a few days as well, getting some amazing footage of the tour as well. Very, very lucky with the weather here in the middle of winter. Anyway, as ever, if you like this, give me a little thumbs up, always helps the cause. Till next time, have fun, happy flying.